finally in Antalya and uh, the first so we've ha not had our lunch today because we didn't get a proper like place to stop no good restaurants and also I was like oh might as well try McDonald's and then we didn't get any on the way so we finally reached Antalya and we were like okay now we're gonna have lunch at it's almost six I think in the evening and we've come to McDonald's I can't wait to try like I have, I have this weird thing that I have to try McDonald's everywhere just because sometimes they have different things on the menu so here they have something called Kofte burger and I've ordered that Let, let's see how it goes raining it is raining Breakfast in Turkey looks like this every single day and oh my god look at this view you guys so beautiful Hello uh, Another day in Antalya last night after the McDonald's we wanted to go out So we were deciding okay, let's not go back to the room. We just go directly out And then we were like, okay, maybe let's freshen up a little bit and then go out and thank God we decided to freshen up a little bit. We got to the room and it was just hailstorm after that for like an hour or two. It was just pouring heavy, heavy. And that's, the, we couldn't go anywhere. We did, did decide to go to the park. There's a lot of parks here. They are very beautiful. There's like great views of the ocean and a lot of waterfalls as well close by. Um, but because of the hailstorm, we couldn't go last night. This morning, we've had our breakfast and the view during the breakfast. Oh my god. And we just headed to one of this uh, park area, which also has a lot of tourist attractions right there. So it's called Kalesi Park. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. So there's Hadrian's Gate right there and the Roman Harbor. So we're just gonna go and have a look at all of it and then continue with our journey. I think Antalya is most, mostly a place where you should come during the summer because it's all beaches and um, water. So if you're somebody who likes to be in the water, you definitely should come here during the summer because then it'll be easier for you to get into the water as now it's like really cold. But compared to last night, the hailstorm, it's pretty sunny today, which is nice. So at least we can go around and see a few things before we leave. Also, if you're coming to Antalya and you book during the summer, you can do boat tours where they take you to like maybe three different islands and three, like three different beaches and you can just spend your time there and then they bring you back. So that's definitely something you should consider when booking your trip to Antalya if you ever do come. But yeah, um, let's see what the Roman harbour looks like now. Imagine coming here during the summer, just lying there, sunbathing, getting into the water. The water is really, really clear, but I bet it's really, really cold right now. But summer would be perfect for Antalya. It's just beautiful. And the fact that you have the ocean and then you have those views right there with snow-capped mountains. Obviously, it wouldn't be the same during summer, I'm guessing, but... Wow, just wow. 
and look how clear the water is. For this one because it has thermal springs it has some ancient ruins and all of that super super excited for this one and uh, yeah we're headed there now uh, from Antalya it's only a three hour drive which is perfect for us so we're spending one night there and then we're back to Istanbul let's see how that goes but for now I'm ending I'm gonna end this one bye